So one thing we must keep in mind while looking at this picture is that uh, light has a finite speed and that is the reason why we are not exactly looking at the galaxies as they are today. We are witnessing their past. So for example, if you pick one galaxy which is let's just say 10 million light years away, then basically we are looking at the galaxy as it was 10 million years back into the uh, past because it takes light uh, such time to reach us. So in our daily life, it is uh, weird to imagine that because uh, in uh, what we experience in our daily life is that the speed of light is huge and the distances involved are very small. So for the sake of understanding, we have devised a thought experiment which you can imagine. So we can imagine that the speed of light is very less. So let us assume that the speed of light is uh, one meter per year, which is a very less, a uh, very small amount. So if we imagine that, then the next question is that if we go out and uh, look at our surroundings, what is it we are going to observe? So if the speed of light is one meter per year, uh, it means that an object which is located one meter away from us uh, is uh, one year behind us or at least we will see the object as it was one year into the past. So uh, imagine an object which is 100 meters away from you. So for example, there is a car which is you know, traveling in the road and it is uh, at a distance of 100 meters, which means uh, the car that you're seeing is basically a car which was 100 years back. So, so that is what I'm trying to say, that the farther you look, the farther back in time you see. So if you look, uh, if you take a binoculars and look at a distance of uh, say 10 kilometers, uh, which means that uh, you are actually looking into the past. So basically you will be able to see early men roaming around. And if you look at the horizon, which is the farthest you can see, you will be able to see dinosaurs. So one thing that comes to mind at this point is that can we catch up with them? F for example, the old car that we were talking about, which was 100 meters away from you. So can you can you catch up with that object? The answer is no, because you see every the motion, uh, the speed of an of any object is restricted by the uh, speed limit of light. OK, so if light takes one year to travel one meter, we will probably take more time to travel that distance. So you can never really catch up with all those things. And even if you move towards those objects, the field of vision will also move relative to you. So it is like that uh, the more you travel towards the horizon, the horizon moves away from you and you will never really be able to catch up with any of those things in the past. But yes, you will be able to see them. So it is kind of like uh, watching a movie, watching a timeline, which is, give you, uh, which is giving you an idea of the past. But uh, keep in mind one thing that this is a live broadcast. So this is exactly what happens to astronomers when they witness uh, or when they see objects in the night sky, in the deep space. So the stars, uh, the galaxies that we see or uh, the photons that we receive from, uh, from them, were actually emitted millions and billions of years in, into the past. And uh, since the speed of light is limited, there is no way we can uh, look at very far objects at their present time.